Hello dreamers and welcome to another episode of our Diamond Painting 101 series. Today we're doing something a little bit different and discussing common diamond paint terminology. Perfect for all of our diamond paint beginners new to this amazing craft. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of these amazing, fun, informative videos. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Hello dreamers, welcome back to my video. And today we're gonna talk about terms and expression in diamond painting community. And we will learn the short words, what it stands for and what does it mean? Because as a beginner, uh, many words that people use on YouTube, on Facebook, and we don't know what that means. So I will try to figure out this for you and I will teach you what these words mean and maybe something you will discover new for yourself today. So my first will be, what is WIP? So I have in here two canvases. One of them, just the canvas, and one of them is WIP. What it stands for? So this canvas, this is just a brand new canvas. I did not work on it yet. So we call just a canvas. What's different between this canvas that I will call WIP. So WIP stands for work in progress, which I already start this canvas. As you can see, I have already placed my drills on it. So this is my work in progress. And that's why very often you can see people call it WIP, which is just a shortcut so you don't have to spell long word. Now, very often in my videos, you probably see in a um, title like, for example, PR unboxing. Um, so what's PR? And somebody did ask me in the comments, what PR mean? So in my world, PR, it's a product review. So if I receive some canvas or I bought some canvas and I say PR unboxing or PR review, which is product review, and that's what it stands for, very simple. So now, lots of us do not know what DMC stands for. Do you know what DMC stands for? You will be probably lots of you surprised. So let me explain. Let's go back to 17th century. Since 1746, Dolphus Mig and Company, better known as DMC, wait, what? All these years, I was thinking that DMC code, it's the name after some color, maybe some thread, maybe some floss. Ah. Oh. As you can see, DMC code that we all know uh, for diamond painting doesn't stand any of those letters for the colors or type of floss for embroidery or our diamonds. That's the name of Junior Dolphus who will continue his family business of DMC code who found all those colors with the chemical company. So. That's what it stands for. That's his name and company. So if you want to go deep into it, I will provide link in the description under this video. And you can go and read the article. This is really inspiring and interesting uh, page that I found on Google. And you can read all about it, about their family, when they started, how they found all those colors that we enjoy right now. And that's how they call them, DMC. When we create our diamond painting art, in some points we're looking for some extra light, especially if you work at the evening and you don't have enough daylight to lighten up your canvas good enough so you can see symbol nice and clearly. So we have many different uh, helps what we can choose from. And first, 
They could be different type of light board. Some people call them light pad, uh, light tracer. And in this example, I wanna show you a few of the options that you can use. As you can see, this one is USB plug and they have even sizing in here which is 30 by 30 all bore uh, 30 by sorry 22 would be and they have a just like a touch button it's really really thin as you can see it's really comfortable you can take with you if you travel and it's go under your canvas nice and flat and it's really comfortable to work because you barely even feel it under your canvas. It's really flat and it's lighting up perfectly good. Even if you don't have um, a light switcher somewhere near you, you can always plug it into your power bar and you can take on the go with you and use this light board. Did you know that you can create your own light board or light box? So if you want to see me doing tutorial and create with you, let's talk about drills. Um, many companies or other crafter creators uh, call in drills in different names and maybe for beginners it's get a little bit confusing because then you think it's a totally different product and maybe you order something wrong. But in somehow way you are right and they are kind of different but they all call drills in a diamond painting world uh, the only drills could be much different from each other different shapes different uh, product they made of so let's talk about these terms so you know very well so some company call them drills some company call them dots and usually dots when you have them in round shape. So this called dots or drills. Some people call them pebbles, some mosaic. There's so many different, um, different name and very often you hear me call them beads because they do look like beads. So we have a square drills and we have a round drills. Also, we have special shape drills. Also, we can here call them special shape drills or gems, special shape gems. So there's many, many variety. Also, we can find this kind that I would call them rhinestones or sparkle beads or sparkle gems, but they all do the same purpose in a diamond painting community. We place them on our canvas and we create this beautiful three-dimensional project that is gorgeous and sparkle. So in many ways with the different name you can find them in the description if you're shopping so you know exactly what you're buying. But they all are diamonds. Another term that you probably heard about it's confetti. So when you think about word confetti, what does it mean to you? I think about birthday party, celebration, lots of colors, just poof, explosion of colors. And that's exactly what we have with Dreamer Designs. Our canvases are so colorful and so confetti. Okay, so here is the part that we have in here. And this particular part, we have this beautiful tree in here. And as you can see, this is explosion of colors and that's what we uh, diamond painters call confetti. When you can't really use your multiplacer because there's so many colors and they just, you have to use your one placer, one at a time, bit by bit, because very, very lots of colors, but in one square. So that is confetti. Let's talk about terms of multiplacer head, multiplacer drill, multiplacer pen, or multiplacer stylist pen. There's a different names and they all have a different tip 
on your stylus pen. So usually you receive pen, one side could be empty, and one side has a one pick. So this is one pick. So obviously we all know if we call a multiplace, which can pick drills not just one, but more. And in here we have many different kinds. We have three in here, which can pick three bead. We can have two different kind and style, which can pick five and seven up to seven. And then we have big like this one this can pick 9 and 10 some of them can pick 11 beads so it depends the bigger the bigger this part then more beads you can pick and that's why they call multiplacer my favorite tool is one pick and multiplacer only for three pick because with this two ends of my stylus and as you know, you can pull out this piece and place on your empty spot. Any of these uh, heads will come out and you can place them on a different pen, which one is your favorite. So as I said before, this is my favorite because with one and multiplacer three bead, I, I can create the most perfect canvas which my beads will line up much more beautiful if I would use big one. Let's talk about term canvas. What is canvas and how many kind of them? There are so many canvases and I just have some of the example to show you. For example, uh, before crafting all I knew canvas could be wooden board for the painters and you can have this one already pre-made on a wooden frame and that's the canvas that artists using to create beautiful art with uh, acrylics or oil paints and this is one of the canvases now which canvas i used to use as a kid and that would be canvas to create a cross stitch on canvas and there is a many variety of this kind of fabric that we call canvas because they all have a count if you can see close you can count how many squares and how to do your stitches so this is cross stitch on canvas now we have another canvas in here that I have different type of fabric canvas as you can see and we can create in here paint by number canvas um, also it's good for any other creation paint and everything so there's a different different varieties of canvases same as for diamond painting we have canvas uh, for example our canvas from dreamer design which is beautiful canvas 100% polyester which is fabric so when you open this canvas it flatten really really fast and as you can see if I flip upside down you can see how nice and smooth doesn't have any creases and you can really appreciate the quality of dreamer design canvases now there is a many many different canvases type you can purchase diamond painting on and one of them for example this canvas and you can appreciate the look of this canvas or look this canvas and no matter how long i would keep this canvas flat i will still see those wrinkles because it's already less quality canvas than this canvas so obviously have some kind of uh, plastic inside of those fibers together with the fibers of fabric. So this is mixed, it, it's not as plasticky as we can have the other. So it's totally plastic. This one kind of mixture of plastic and fabric at the same time. So 
the different kind of canvas you will receive different outcome of your diamond paint and quality this one will go nice and smoothly in your frame as less quality canvas could still see those wiggles even inside the frame um, and that's how you can choose which canvas quality would you like to purchase so it looks good feels good and diamond painting will look beautiful now let's talk about wax as you can see I have variety of stuff in here and with your diamond painting you can receive wax different shapes different color could be in a package in this dreamer design also has a pretty logo and as you can see there's it depends on a company where you order from uh, you can have this pretty pink translucent or transparent uh, wax you can have wax as this kind of stuff pink one which similar what we have in here it just dreamer design have a circle and a package usually we will receive this kind of stuff so what stab and grab mean when you have your wax let's open protective sheet and then you literally stab i twist usually first and grab and then you have your wax inside of your pen and then you can continue to do your diamond painting same go expression of stab and grab go for the bead when you just kind of stabbing just touching it and grabbing and you have your bead on a tip of your stylist pen and this is my favorite tool to work with first of all it's really really light you barely can feel in your hand easy to work comfortable beautiful soft squishy or grip and it's really easy to work and very comfortable so I would suggest you can you can experiment and try different type of wax but as so far for me and if you watch my videos often I always use pink wax or red wax because it's the most comfortable to pick it's easy to pick bead stab and grab also when you place on your canvas the glue on a canvas will grab your bead and it's easy coming out out of your tip of your pen and stays on a canvas nice and sturdy so that's the expression of stab and grab there's a couple more terms that i want to tell you about and maybe you see many times when you go to a youtuber and somebody would comment um for example like ty and write in whatever they want to say so ty stands for simple thank you or for example tfs thanks for sharing and i hope you like this video today in my fun way i like to create video that's not boring and a little bit more interesting to watch so on the end of this video i would like to say brb what's that mean for it's mean be right back in my next episode with new video tutorials tips and tricks Personally, I was definitely at a loss when it came to figuring out what WIP meant when I first began. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and remember to paint with passion. Goodbye!